The opening hole at Eagle Glen Golf Course is a short par 4 to start your round. It's reachable for the longer hitters, but everybody should favor the right side of the fairway because a large bunker protects the left side. The smart play is a fairway wood or long iron off the tee, leaving you a short wedge shot into the green. This is your first realistic birdie opportunity of the day. Hole 2 at Eagle Glen is a par 5 that offers a generous tee for seniors. This hole looks wide open, but sand traps on the right and a large maple on the left force you to be accurate off the tee. The hole is reachable in two, but not worth the risk. A large, deep green side bunker protects this elevated green. Check on the pin placement before hitting your second shot. A layup to the 100 yard range offers a good look at this two tiered green. It's important to get your approach shot on the right level. Eagle Glen's third hole offers a tee shot that is hit directly out of a chute of pine trees. Straight down the middle is your smartest play. You may be tempted to try to drive the green. This hole has a slight dog leg that makes it difficult to hit the green, but a long iron or fairway wood will leave you with a short shot to an undulating putting surface that offers a great chance for birdie. The fourth hole at Eagle Glen is a beautiful par 3. It's a force carry over a marsh to a large three-tiered green. Be sure to check the wind and the pin placement before choosing your club. Bunkers guard the left side of the green with a steep runoff to that side. Pick the right club or you will have an interesting putt on this large green. Eagle Glen's fifth hole is a long par 5. Favor the left side of the fairway with your drive and be careful of the marsh on the right side on your second shot. Try to favor the right side of the fairway before hitting a mid iron into the narrow kidney shaped green. Now this green is surrounded by bunkers including a grass bunker on the right side. Proper distance on your third shot will leave you a nice look at birdie on the fifth hole. Eagle Glen's sixth hole is the signature hole of this wonderful golf course, a par three featuring all carry over water to a very large green that's protected by bunkers. Avoid the willow tree on the left and enjoy both the beauty and the challenge of this special hole. Number seven at Eagle Glen is the number two handicap hole on the course. It's long and tight off the tee. There's water on the left and out of bounds on the right, so accuracy is a must. Trees and mounds on the left could cause a problem for the second shot to a green that is well protected by sand. Choose enough club as the second shot to this green is uphill. A par on this hole is a bonus. Hole 8 at Eagle Glen is deceptive looking from the tee. Sand traps protect the left and right side of the fairway with out of bounds bordering the right side of the hole. The safest play is a fairway wood or iron off the tee. Stay below the hole on your approach shot to give yourself a realistic uphill putt either for birdie or par. Rounding out the front nine at Eagle Glen is the beautiful ninth hole. The fairway is protected by a bunker on each side and a tee shot in the fairway gives you a great look at birdie. Check your pin position carefully and make sure you have enough club into this green. The great challenge of number nine is the putting surface. A long putt will present quite a challenge as you try to round out the front nine with a par. Eagle Glen's 10th hole offers a great way to start the back nine with a short par four. Longer hitters can carry the sand trap on the left flank of the fairway. A well-placed tee shot will afford the player a short iron into the green. Choose wisely as this is one of our more protected greens with water and sand surrounding it. The 11th hole at Eagle Glen offers a serious challenge. One leading golf writer says this hole is destined to become one of the classic par fives in the state of Michigan. It's long and tight with a challenging tee shot over a marsh. Water protects the right side with out of bounds along the left. The second shot distance needs to be chosen carefully as two bunkers are placed near the landing area. An L-shaped green requires the correct distance on the approach shot or the player is left with a tough putt. 
All in all, number 11 is a great challenge par 5. Eagle Glen's hole 12 offers a long, challenging par 3 into a prevailing wind. Out of bounds borders the left side of the hole and water protects the right side of the green. Should the player find the green in regulation, a large putting surface can be difficult to navigate. Walking away with par from number 12 is a tremendous accomplishment. Eagle Glen's 13th hole offers players a good opportunity at birdie. This par 5 bends to the right and longer hitters can cut the corner and carry the bunkers to set up a reachable shot into the green. Long native grasses border each side and present a boundary and a challenge for accuracy. Be sure to check your pin placement as you hit your approach shot, whether it's the second or third, you have a great chance at making four or five on the 13th. Hole 14 at Eagle Glen is a deceptive, slight, dogleg left par 4. A blind tee shot invites the player to cut the corner, but be warned, going too far left brings the long grass into play. Play it too safe and the fairway bunker on the right almost ensures a bogey. Should you find the fairway off the tee, an elevated green awaits your approach, and your putter needs to be sharp. This is a challenging hole. Number 15 is the first of the two easiest holes on the back nine at Eagle Glen. Just a fairway wood is required off the tee as a large bunker protects the right side of the fairway. Out of bounds borders on the left, but players will have to make it through long grass in order to go that far off track. Check the wind before your approach shot into this two-tiered green and make up for some lost strokes earlier in the round. The 16th hole at Eagle Glen ranks as the easiest hole on the back nine. The bunkers are reachable on the right hand side and can make this a tricky hole for the risk taker. But there is more room than what's visible on the left side, leaving you with an uphill green with plenty of undulations that can cause havoc if your putter isn't sharp. All in all, hole 16 offers you an excellent chance at birdie. Coming down the home stretch brings us to hole 17, a par 3 requiring a downhill tee shot into a green protected by a large pot bunker in the front. The tee box is one of the highest points on the course, so wind will play a role in your shot and club selection. Choose the right club, as you'll want to find the correct side of the ridge dividing the green on hole 17. Eagle Glen's 18th hole is a great finishing hole. A long par 4 always into the prevailing wind, this hole bends slightly to the right and is downhill off the tee. Tall heather borders the right hand side of the hole as does a very popular bunker. The green is another two tiered layout that will require a mid to long iron approach. Take great care and caution with your final putts of the day as this large green has plenty of challenge and undulation.